approximately 1521 on Sunday, March 3rd, 2013, eastbound on State Route 86 in Southern Arizona. <clears throat> this is an east-west highway over 40 miles north of the international border with Mexico that never intersects the border at any point. As such, uh, the vast majority of traffic on here is domestic traffic, not border. And this highway connects with local communities in southern Arizona. It's not a nexus point for water traffic. Nonetheless, that hasn't stopped the Department of Homeland Security from wasting scarce border security resources uh, by diverting uh, border patrol agents uh, from the border in its functional equivalent to instead harass and intimidate domestic traffic inside the country at suspicious checkpoints like the one that's been set up along this highway near mile marker 147. At this checkpoint that we'll be entering shortly, armed border patrol agents stop, seize, interrogate, interrogate, visually inspect, and attempt to coerce individuals into waiving their rights for extended detentions and uh, full-fledged uh, searches. agents here oftentimes have specially trained canine units. These canine units are dual trained at the minimum to not only detect humans, of which there will always be at least one in any vehicle entering a checkpoint, uh, but also uh, narcotics. These drug sniffing dogs are used at pre-primary, i.e. as vehicles are entering the checkpoint and still moving before coming to a complete stop at primary and at secondary inspection stations. Uh, most of the times, the, uh, in the vast majority of cases, absent any individualized suspicion whatsoever. The use of these drug sniffing dogs in this capacity makes it clear that the scope of the checkpoint far exceeds any sort of limited immigration mandate. In addition, the DEA, that's the Drug Enforcement Agent Agency, also plays a role here. They set up a suspicionless camera surveillance array system with um, two automated license plate readers and additional cameras that record everything there is to record about vehicles entering and exiting the area. And they've set this up just on the outskirts of the Border Patrol checkpoint. Once again, uh, kind of accentuating the fact that uh, this checkpoint is used uh, for things other than immigration uh, purposes. There is a felon board, a wanted felon board, uh, here at the checkpoint. A couple dozen uh, photos of wanted felons, making you know once again uh, making it clear that the scope uh, of this checkpoint is not limited to immigration. Indeed, the Border Patrol has uh, freely admitted in public that uh, they utilize these internal checkpoints as a pretext uh, to look for all manner of criminal wrongdoing, uh, such as felons, uh, weapons, uh, terrorists. Uh, narcotics, and occasionally, I guess, an illegal alien as well. The use of these checkpoints in such a fashion uh, flies uh, directly in the face of various U.S. Supreme Court rulings that have said uh, that uh, permanent immigration checkpoints set up along nexus points for border traffic are okay as long as they're very limited in scope to brief immigration queries. And any further detention after the initial stop and questioning is premised upon either consent or probable cause. And of course, just because agents can ask uh, questions uh, here, since they are testimonial, testimonial in nature, nobody has any obligation uh, to answer those questions. Homeland Security, Border Patrol pretty much ignored the limitations the U.S. Supreme Court placed upon the operations of internal immigration checkpoints and conduct them as general law enforcement checkpoints absent individualized suspicion and violation of uh, City of Indianapolis versus Edmond. So we have four agents to the south side of the road and another agent standing in the middle of the road. Dean and Jay Grayson.